Did you know that chaparingos are an endemic bunny that lives in Mexico? Is the second smallest rabbit in the world? Hi, my name is Camila, and today I'll tell you about the volcano rabbits. This is an endemic rabbit that locally goes by two names, like Zacatuche, that means bunny from Zacatones, Zacatones being a type of grass, and Teporingo, which means bunny from the rocks. Both of their names are from the Nahuatl. Teporingos were seen by the Aztecs as a symbol of fertility. Teporingos are herbivore mammals with small and rounded ears, short legs, and a unique rounded body. They weighed around 450 and 500 grams, and they are not larger than 50 centimeters long. Also, they have a lifespan from 7 to 9 years, and they have short, dense, and dark fur, which is really useful to camouflage in the rocky habitat. The Boringos live in the forest and grassland around the central volcanic belt. There are five largest groups living in Nevado de Toluca, the Popo Itza National Park, and the Corredor Ajusco Chinchinahuatse. The Teperingos live in burrows that they make in the ground, in hollow logs and in between rocks. The Teperingos feed on different types of grass, like sacaton, herbs, shrubs, tulips, and fruits, and their ecological importance is to spread seeds. And among their hunters are whistles, raptors, foxes, coyotes, and snakes. The Teperingos are very active mammals. They are most likely to be seen during sunrise and sunset. They live in group families from two to five members. And usually mom teperingos are the ones in charge of the hair and as a family they are very territorial. Also, unlike other rabbits and hares, teperingos actually make noises to communicate among themselves. Because of their physical features, the Peringos are considered a very primitive rabbit. Their skull, their colon, and the other of their teeth are unique in our country and it's only related to the Red Rocks Bunny in South Africa and the Amami Bunny in Japan. Unfortunately, due to their location so near to Mexico City, they are threatened because of their habitat loss, poaching, and being haunted by feral fauna like dogs and cats. Even though the Peringos are protected by the Mexican law 059, their hunting hasn't stopped. As in April of 2020, there were around 7,000 wild Teperingos in five of the national protected areas, like Ajusco Chinchinahuatzin and El Nevado de Toluca. And as a measure to preserve Teperingos, UNAM has been working on protection programs with different national and international zoos, like Chapultepec Zoo in Mexico City, Jersey Zoo, England, the Ember Zoo in Belgium, and Hokkaido Zoo in Japan. This is all to find a way for Teperingos to reproduce healthy in captivity and to understand their behavior so that we can find ways to preserve them in their natural habitats. And remember, in order to protect something, we need to know it first. Thank you and see you next time. If you liked this video and learned something new, please leave us your like, your comment, and subscribe. Also, follow us on our social media for fun facts that we're going to be sharing with you. Thank you and see you next time.